Hello everybody, Sift3 again, and today I will be doing a quick guide on how to easily install mods with the use of the Thunderstorm Mod Manager. Now the first thing you need to do is download the Mod Manager itself, so it can be found on this site, which I will leave the link off in the description below. So after you go to the site and this thing pops up, you go with download, download the exe given, and uh, yeah, run it. Now after you run it and install the Overwolf, uh, Overwolf app and the mod manager, you will get some things on your PC installed. First thing installed is this. This is like an app store like Steam, for example, but it's mostly focused for interface things and UI and stuff. And uh, we don't need it. And the second thing that you get installed is this overlay over here, which uh, gives you quick access to some stuff, but you can also close this by pressing this minus button. So that's the first two things that get installed. The other thing that gets installed, <laughs> the one we care about, is the Thunderstorm mod manager. Now here, first of all, you see all the games that are on the mod manager, uh, even if you don't have them. And then you can just go to the game of your choice and select the platform of it and start modding. Now here, the first thing you need to do is create a new profile. So we go with a tutorial, I guess, as a profile. And uh, yeah, let's select the profile and start modding. Now, first thing you can see is we don't have any mod installed. The first thing you should do is go to online and choose which mods you want. And at that point, you are already done. So let's, uh, I guess, download the Dino mod. Let's download Redrafting mod, which is easily testable. Here, Garth's mod, why not? Uh, I'm just uh, downloading cards mod for now, card mods for now. Also, let's download this. Now, after you download some mods, first of all, when you download mods, you can choose the version of the mod. That is going to be important for something I'm going to say in a bit. And uh, after you download the mods, you can see them here installed. As you see, some some things got installed which you did not choose, like the BepNex, the API, and the JSON card loader. Those are dependencies for other mods, so don't really uh, care about it. And uh, just start the game modded. First, first start the game modded and see what you can find. Now, a UI appears, which you should keep an eye on, and you just saw the UI for half a second had something red in it. So that red thing means that something crashed. I'm going to show it to you in a bit. Okay, so this is pretty much the the command prompt, I guess. And uh, here you can see, I said the UI before, but it's command prompt. And here you can see that the JSON card loader crashed or bugged out or whatever happened. These red things means that it isn't working right now. So you, you close the game. Let's close the game. And uh, now that the game is closed, we go back here and actually disable the problematic thing, which is this thing right now. Now, you could do two things, by the way. You can either just disable it or uninstall it if you want, which will also disable or uninstall whatever is depending on it, like this uh, this cards right now. Or you could go over to the modding Discord and ask which one of those uh, JSON card loaders is stable, because the JSON, JSON card loaders seem to be doing the problem. Maybe something else was doing the problem, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna say that JSON card loader was a problem. And then you can ask which version of this is stable and works, and then they tell you which one it is, and you just use it and download it. And then you should have your mods working again. But uh, that is on you to do. I mean, don't, don't spam people and ask specific people. Just just go over to tech support and ask which version is stable. Or or I guess you, you can find the solution to that. It's not really that hard. And uh, even if you can't find the solution, if you can't be bothered, I mean, they will fix it at some point. So maybe one, two, three days later, this will actually work. And then, uh, and then you can play whatever mod you want. Either way, let's start the game modded again uh, to show you that uh, the mods are actually working and installed. Now, uh, you can check the prompt and see that there will be no red message. I, I, I'm 100% sure because I've done this before. So you just go to this prompt and check. Uh, is there a red message? If everything is white, then uh, it should be installed. Everything should be installed. Actually, give me a sec to show it to you. Here is the prompt. And as you can see, everything is white. Everything is uh, loaded, loaded, loaded. So let's go back into the game. And let's start a new game and really quickly show that... Uh, this is actually working. Okay. The DMQ talks to us. And yeah, this is literally the drafting mod, in case you know from inscription or not. And now if you join this over here, you can see new cards that uh, theoretically should be modded. One. Yeah, th this card and this, I mean, this is literally a modded card. You can see it from the art alone. And uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. So let's close this off. And... Um, yeah, there is nothing more to explain. Now, let me explain some a few stuff over here with the modding. So, we are already done with the modding part. Now, some stuff that might not be really known for everybody is that you can export your mods. Export profile as a code. Okay. And then you can get this code and literally give it to somebody. 
to actually you know have the same mods with somebody so you go to change a profile you go change profile uh, on their profiles and then here you give them the code and they should just import their update they can either it doesn't matter which one they choose they can either update an existing one or just import then you, they choose from code you they paste the code or you paste the code i guess and then i guess tutorial 2 that's going to import all the mods and then you select the profile of tutorial 2 and as you can see really quickly here uh, the mods are already at the state that we had them before so it keeps the disabled mod disabled and everything else uh, also as you want them to be so most of the time i will be using that code from here on out on the bottom of the description whenever i play games and the last thing i would like to tell you here is that there is a config editor which uh, is a bit like programming, but uh, you can use it. It's not really easy to use, but you could use it. Some are actually easy to use. So for example, here, the trader start, that's the drafting mod. You can open this, edit config, and you can see here that um, there is some uh, modification that you can do. For example, here, this says rabbit count. You can start with eight rabbits if you want. Wolf chance, this is one out of three. I don't know why they program it like that, but if you want to have a harder time, like one out of two, three, one out of ten, or maybe one out of one, you always want to have wolves in your run. And also maybe always have golden chances in your run. Now if you save this um, after launch the game, yeah, theoretically I can now start this. And theoretically speaking, I should get the mod to be even more modded. I should have like eight pelts or whatever. Let me come back to you when I actually enter the game. Okay, and here you see us in the game. And as you see, the mod actually worked. So now I got a bunch of golden pelts and whatever else we got from the changes we did i'm not sure if you can actually give those um options to somebody else but uh, why not try you know why not try here export export as a code we get this code we go over to change profile we go you know what let's go with import and update and let's go with update an existing profile actually that's a risk because here new profile test import Update existing profile from code, this one, and then it says to you which one I want to update the test. And now test should be updated, yeah, with the mods. And now the main question is also the configuration happening. Uh, the configuration was called Trader. Here it is. And as you can see, even the configuration is uh, changed. So when you send a code to somebody, you are also sending them their configuration alongside it. So maybe you can... I guess um, min-max or tweak some values that you would like to have different uh, with the mods you use and then send them tweaked to somebody like this is my mod and uh, I mean th these are the options I'm using etc etc so you can get an exact replica of whatever mod somebody is using and uh, yeah that's uh, that's it pretty much I think we're pretty much done now the, maybe the last thing I could show you is that you just have to press the change game there to get back to this screen and that's it <laughs> literally that's it so yeah, if you enjoyed this, if it was helpful, maybe drop a like, it helps out immensely. And uh, if you have any problem, as I said, the modded, serve, the modded uh, Discord should help you. I mean, it's modded from, it's a mod, it's an, it's an inscription based modded server. So I'm not sure if it's going to help everybody, but it's going to help at least for inscription related problems. And um, yeah, that's it. So if it was helpful, maybe comment down below. If, if you have any uh, questions, I guess you could join the Discord to ask or just comment down below and I might read it. And yeah, this time this is it. So once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.